Some of the world's smallest dog breeds play the largest role in our lives. With their expressive faces and adorable antics, not to mention the extensive wardrobe possibilities, it is hard for many people to imagine life without a tiny dog. In this video, we will look at 7 most smallest cute dog breeds in the world. It's going to be an exciting video, so let's dive in. Number 7. Yorkshire Terrier Yorkshire Terriers seem oblivious of their small size. They are very eager for adventure. Yorkshire Terriers originated in England and were bred to be tenacious rodent hunters. This little dog is highly energetic, brave, loyal, and clever. With owners who take the time to understand how to treat a small dog, the Yorkie is a wonderful companion. It is affectionate with its master, but if humans are not this dog's pack leader, it can become suspicious of strangers and aggressive to strange dogs and small animals. It can also become yappy, as the dog does their best to tell you what it wants you to do. At a full-grown height of merely 8 inches, the Yorkshire Terrier has a surprisingly brave attitude. Weighing approximately 7 pounds, Yorkies, as they are commonly known, are affectionate and playful and enjoy a good cuddle sesh on the regular. Today, many Yorkies enjoy life as family pets, and because they are not tolerant of cold weather, can often be seen sporting stylish sweaters or coats. Number 6. Japanese Chin Loyal affectionate, and even-tempered? This may sound like the ideal description for a furry friend, but it also happens to encapsulate the chief characteristics of the Japanese Chin dog breed. Add friendly and smart to the list, and it certainly sounds like a companion for life, doesn't it? The Japanese Chin is small, weighing 4 to 9 pounds, and the Japanese Chin average height is 11 inches. It typically has a long, smooth coat that is sleek and shiny, exhibiting either black and white, lemon and white, sable and white, or triplicate colors of black, tan, and white. The breed is believed to have originated either in China or Korea more than 1,000 years ago and was first recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1888. Known for its cat-like qualities, floppy ears, and flattened face, the Japanese chin can often be found curled up in a soft lap awaiting affection. This cute canine also has a sense of humor, an impish temperament, and a talent for pursuing his own interests. A chin is usually very entertaining for his family, with a great memory and well remembers anyone who upsets him in any way. He loves people, and loves being surrounded by his family. Chins can experience separation anxiety. They are not the easiest dog to train. But with persistence, they are often fully housebroken by four months. Be firm with a chin. Harsh punishment often turns off the mild-mannered temperament. Number 5. Shih Tzu Originally bred to warm the laps of royals and emperors, the dignified and affectionate Shih Tzu has become one of the world's most popular toy breeds. Imperial dog keepers originally developed the small breed Shih Tzu, which means lion dog, for Chinese emperors and their families. The outgoing breed was largely kept behind palace walls until the 1930s, when breeders in China and England first grew pocket populations of them. They tend to require a large amount of personal attention each day. They thrive on human company and can easily become spoiled. They enjoy training and learning tricks, making them the center of attention. Shih Tzu should be socialized to children early on, but they enjoy people of all ages. Do not count on your Shih Tzu to guard the house. He would probably welcome a burglar with open paws. Weighing up to 16 pounds and standing up to 11 inches tall, these beautifully long-coated dogs with large expressive eyes and mischievous personalities continue to be favored over other dogs in pet-loving families. Number 4. Pomeranian Pomeranians are a toy breed named for the region in which the breed originated, namely northeastern Europe and what is now Poland and western Germany. Poms, as they are often called, came into popularity as the preferred pet of England's Queen Victoria and have become alert, loyal and friendly additions to households all over the world. Pomeranians are the miniaturized descendants of Spitz dog breeds once bred to work in the snow, such as the Akita, Alaskan Malamute, and Samoyed. Despite being small, Pomeranians do need regular exercise and thrive on training. They are very intelligent and enjoy learning tricks and performing. Poms generally get along well with other pets, but caution should be used mixing any toy breed with large breeds that might injure a toy dog accidentally. If raised with children they do quite well, if not, they may be reserved. Children need to be reminded that these smaller dogs may not be as sturdy as larger dogs, and interactions should be supervised. Their delicate faces have a fox-like appearance, and their curled tails emphasize their inquisitive natures. 
These diminutive dogs stand up to 11 inches in height and weigh from 3 to 7 pounds, with thick and fluffy coats in black, white, red, orange, brindle, or any variation thereof. Number 3. Chobaba. The title of smallest dog breed in the world goes to the Chubaba, weighing in at a maximum of 6 pounds. The Chubaba average height is 9 inches. Their delicate bone structure doesn't make them an ideal pet for children because the dogs are prone to injury when not handled gently. Chubaba have either short coats or long coats, but all have distinctive and alert ears and large eyes. These loyal and lively dogs, they have huge personalities and love to play with their fellow Chubaba can have a solid coat ranging from black to white and red to tan, or they can have a combination of two colors. The breed is widely thought to have originated in the area for which it is named, Chubaba, Mexico. However, alternate origin theories abound, with some believing that tiny dogs were brought from Malta by Spanish conquistadors or were first spotted in China. Number 2. Maltese. For more than 28 centuries, the Maltese Spaniel has been the aristocrat of the dog world, it is believed that the Maltese originated in Malta, a tiny island south of Sicily. It is only fitting that such a noble dog be established in Malta, whose civilization was distinguished by its sophistication and opulence. Maltese weighing up to 7 pounds and standing up to 9 inches tall, are known for their flowing white hair like fur. Their show-stopping white coats make them appear luxurious, and their obsidian eyes and ebony button noses add to their charm so it's little wonder Roman Empire aristocrats bred them as both a status symbol and fashionable companion. Today, Maltese still sport their flowing white coats, but also may have fur and white and lemon, or white and tan. Despite their delicate appearance, Maltese are hardy dogs that make great watchdogs and adept athletes who often compete on agility courses. Light sleepers may not be fans of what some describe as excessive barking, but the same quality makes the small breed a good watchdog. Number 1. Russian Toy. In 2022, the American Kennel Club recognized the Russian toy dog by granting it official breed status. A loving, intelligent, trustful companion for you and your family. You will fall in love instantly, and the only problem your RTT will create immediately upon arrival will be that he will make you want another one. Agile, hardy, lifetime devoted to the owner. This is how Russian toy owners describe their dogs. The small breed, although it can have either short or long hair, is known for its large and upright ears that sport long silky hair. The ears, which can look a bit like ponytails, accentuate the breed's ebony gumdrop noses and round eyes. Russian toy dogs grow to a height of up to 11 inches and weigh a mere 6.5 pounds at the most, but they make up for their small size with a sizable intelligence and are generally easy to train. These tiny pups, finally recognized by the American Kennel Club, make great family pets, as likely to enjoy chasing thrown toys in the backyard as they are lounging in a lap. Their coats range from beautifully fox-like red sables and browns to black and tan. That wraps up the video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then peace out.